Good evening, y'all. It's your man Earl once again. It is uh, day 101 on the calendar, April April uh, 10th, day 100, FSQ 25. And today is the day that uh, our Lord and Savior was crucified according to the, uh, the modern calendar. We know that there's a Hebrew calendar that's a little different, but we're going by the Romanesque calendar. So with that being said, day 101 FX, FSQ 25, that's federal self-quarantine. And it has been very challenging. Uh, of course, just staying busy. I know it's staying busy. Uh, we've been, you know, you're trying to minimize your moving around. Excuse me. And that's it's been challenging. I know it's been challenging for everybody, especially if you're an entrepreneur that you're trying to stay productive. And I can't I can't overemphasize uh, enough staying productive. You know, we have three more weeks of this, at least three more weeks of this. And so we're trying to stay as productive as we can. I can't emphasize following through enough. Now it's time for you to go back, do your paperwork. Uh, I'm going to start doing taxes, which it's going to be very interesting because we had a fire last year, you know, and, and I lost um, everything. And so taxes are going to be very interesting. So I can get to start doing taxes, even though they're not due till July. You still got have to do them. And so I'll be doing taxes here starting uh, next week or so. Starting the construction process, the rebuilding process in the bookstore, Lord willing, here in the next 10 to 15 days, 7 to 10 days, starting that. So thank you guys so much for that support. And nevertheless, today's, once again, uh, they say Good Friday, the day that Christ chose to go to the cross. And I just want to give you some insights, some quick pointers uh, from that. You know, we've been, obviously, you know, we've been looking at Matthew chapters 21 through 27. And so it says this in Matthew, uh, the crucifixion, the chief priests rally the people to chant crucify him this is chapter 27 you know we know that Pontius Pilate uh, freed uh, he's going to free one of the two Barabbas or Jesus and the, the chief priests and those religious leaders pumped the crowd up and said crucify him being Yeshua There is no definite date, per se. If we were talking Hebrew, we would just use the, the calendar month Nisan. But we do know it was during the governorship of Pontius Pilate, who ruled from A.D. or really 26 uh, B.C. through 36 AD after death and so that BC is before common era or before Christ AD is through after death okay so we do know that Pontius Pilate was the ruler uh, we also understand that uh, he was crucified between two criminals now we're in John chapter 19 we know that Christ agonized on the cross for six hours and people say, why six hours? Uh, we know that he was uh, beat up last night, Thursday night. He was marched between uh, the governors and the priests. That lasted all night. And then early Friday morning, they began the process of marching him up Golgotha. And at 9 a.m. that morning, that's when the quote-unquote crucifix, crucifixion began. Uh, we know that uh, it lasted from the 
9th or 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., which is the ninth hour. And that's nine hours after sunrise for my Bible teaching friends. And we know that he quote, quoted out of the 22nd Psalm, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And he gives up the ghost. He utters a lot. He utters seven sayings, if you will. But that's the most, uh, not the most important. That's one. And then, of course, it is finished. And when he said when it was finished, we want to pick it up right there. We want to pick up that he lived his whole life to do this. 33 and a half years old, lived his whole life to give up his life. So you and I may have a right to eternal life. And when he died, when he gave up the ghost, something happened in the temple. And we want to pick up that the veil that separated the Holy of Holies from the quote-unquote general populace. And let's look at Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19 through 22. It says, Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Yahshua, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh and having a high priest which is him yeshua christ his flesh and having a high priest over the house of god let us draw near with the true heart and full assurance of faith hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 we now can go to god because what christ has done and what he did and it began tonight, it began uh, this night when he gave up his life for us. Darkness was from noon until three. And that's when the Roman soldier said, surely this is the son of God paraphrasing for those of you who have different Bibles so I'm not getting to don't get tied up on my exact words I know that many Bibles say different things I just know want you guys to know that the Roman soldier who saw that who experienced that and I want you to think about that today think about that tonight Think about that tomorrow. Excuse me. Think about that. That he gave up his life for you and I. He willingly... He willingly gave up his life so we may have a right to eternal life. So on this day, April 10th, 2020, day 101, FSQ 25, Federal Self Quarantine 25. Don't haphazardly think about this week just because we have other things going on. The coronavirus, not having a job, no money. Those things are very minuscule when you think about eternal life life is temporary y'all wait this 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 life goes by so fast but eternal life is forever eternal life is forever so think about not just today, but for the rest of the year. What are you going to do with your life? How are you going to live your life? It's a good day to commit to the Lord. It's a good day to recommit to the Lord. I have a lot of friends that know they're called, uh, but they're struggling with 
life in many areas. Some in the music industry, some who have secular jobs, some who uh, are doing things that that they just feel like that's the only thing they can do. They know how to do. I challenge you to recommit to God tonight. I challenge you to recommit to God. It's not it's not something that you can continually push on and push on and push on and push on. At some point in time, you're going to get tired. And if it is of God, you're going to ultimately yield. So you might as well start today. God loves you. God is with you. You know that. Let's not continue to take God's grace for granted. It's your man, Earl Day 101 F. SQ April 10th he gave up his life the crucifixion for you and I God loves you and he is for you I challenge you use this time for reflection God bless you God keep you we'll see you tomorrow and we'll talk a lot about uh, what happens because Saturday is a very interesting day. And there's uh, not a lot of theology out on Saturday because, well, it's just not exciting to talk about. We talk about Friday, Good Friday, and we talk about Sunday, the day he rose from the grave. But let's, let's, let's talk about Saturday. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. God bless you. God keep you. Day 101, FSQ 25. God bless you. God keep you. We love you.